We're here. I hope so, at least. I, uh, I messed with some of my my streaming setup stuff today. I was recording a Patreon podcast with Paul the Punter, and uh, yeah, it always it always throws a little bit of grease into the wheel. What is going on? It looks like I'm being heard. Microphone one, microphone two, something like that. We're here. We're here. Hello, hello. I've got uh, I've got the the chat. The cloud bot in the moderator, so I, I'm I'm thinking we're gonna see. Oh wait, no, no. Okay, chat alerts are set on. So if somebody uh, once people start spamming, once the twelve year olds join in and uh, start spamming, we'll we'll see them get banned pretty quickly, automatically. So Mark, I saw you're in here. You can you can just kick up your kick up your legs and just hang out. <laughs> we'll see. I just ate dinner too, so I'm like all like jamming food down my mouth dude we got brian t with the five dollar super chat <laughs> and i'm just making sure here okay sweet i see those alerts coming up and hopefully the sounds are playing for you guys we got it all going beach bums garage with the two dollar i'm going for it <laughs> that uh that that video yesterday in the comments, thank you guys so much. Just tons and tons of love from the comments on uh, yesterday's video. I appreciate it so so much, and uh, yeah, it was it was it was quite awesome. All right, so it looks like Grant's Productions didn't have enough enough caps to actually get banned on that, so that's okay. I kind I want people to have some some possibilities to you know do a couple shouts but I, it's a certain length of uh blah and, and like you know uh and uh spamming you know icons and stuff like that so we're good we're good <laughs> flyfish scott moab xc race video sucked i loved it i thought it was great i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got MTB Shack with a dollar ninety nine super chat. Love you, love you, dude. I think it's a love you, dude. Thank you, MTB Shack. <laughs> yes, if you click the link in the description, you will see the uh, the the safety tub thing. I think I'm also gonna have it playing uh, playing on a loop, like every six minutes or so, or five minutes. That link will pop up. So just kind of automating stuff a little bit. Oh, focus, focus here, and. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll get there. The chat is working for you, Junior V PC Parts Picker. There we go. Streamlabs just posted final call for Redemption CA shirts. There you go. And the tub, tub trap. Oh, and there we go. Le Leisher Gugino. You're the first victim of uh, spamming the chat. There we go. Sweet. So yeah, that, that probably should be a little bit more spaced, spaced out. So uh, we're good. The mods can just hang out. Maybe, you know, there might be some, uh, there might be some other things that, you know, robots can do a good job, but you know, I love you guys and I love the mods in the chat for sure. <laughs> Fenrir MTV with the $5 super chat. Welcome back home, buddy. I was going to ask about the bike cover stuff, but I think you're covering that today. Kind of, sort of, uh, I'll get there. Uh, it's it's more just a protection, so it's just like a cheapo protection film. I used it on the the, uh, the Ibis Ritmo, and it's going good. It's going really good, actually. <laughs> are the spammers robots? No, the spammers are twelve year olds, and there's plenty of twelve year olds on this channel who have proper grammar, who send me like polite emails, who can use English properly. But ah, there's just a lot of uh, what is it, Mark? Uh, blonde bang chubby cheeked uh, <laughs> kids that just they just can't help themselves it's uh huh. okay we got the super chats rolling in henry dvorak with the 299 super chat thank you thank you thank you ooh uh k c bass mtv qbc bike shield protection based in Q quebec canada amazing product nice nice i'm going for the cheapo stuff we're going straight cheapo and we're gonna see how it goes we'll see <laughs> see see uh rc adventures australia the you're, eh, you've kind of got a, uh, got a, a grasp of the, uh, the English language. Not too bad. <laughs> Shut up and ride MTB with the twenty dollar super chat money I owe you from Tijuana with that thing we did. I told you never to bring that up. <sighs> Moving on, right beside, we got Sid checking in with the twenty dollar super chat. So you're gonna run the XC bike in BC, or are you gonna bring the Ritmo? I'm bringing both bikes to BC, but I'm gonna run the BMC Agonist in the BC bike race. 
blown away by how good the agonist rode. If you guys were on Patreon today, the first Moab Rocks. I'm not going to go on and on about Moab Rocks tonight in the stream. Uh, just get on Patreon, see the videos. I am beyond excited for how good these videos from Moab are going to be. I am really, really stoked. Rafe, what's up, dude? I see ya. It's good timing with the stream again. Come back to Tampa? I would like to. Uh, Moab, Rock, Moab Rocks, Rocks update, MTB Yum Yum. It's on Patreon, baby. You can Google it if you want spoilers, but uh, next week, so tomorrow will be the first ride on the BMC Agonist for you YouTube folks on in Moab and Slick Rock. And uh, yeah, it's good. It's good, good, good. It's all good. I could get away with the Ritmo probably on a BC bike race, but oh, I think it's going to be miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. How's the hair doing here? <laughs> uh, this, it, it, so it's not super cheap, Brian Vaughn, but it's cheaper than Gorilla. Gorilla Tape is like, I don't know if I put that on my bike. This is, uh, this is better than a lot of the, a lot of the things for sure. <laughs> uh, we got Warby, MTB checking in with the $4.09 super chat. What's up, man? Lunch on me. Sweet. I can buy some nuggets with that. Oh my God. I, did I, I totally... No, I got Brian T with the five dollar super chat with the Hey Brian Nugget Fund. Ah, maybe I didn't. I think, uh, I think I did. But we're going back. We're going back to the top because once you said Nugget Fund, I was like, Hey, what, what about what about the Nugget Fund? Harley Harrison with the nine dollar one dollar ninety nine super chat. Have I ever ridden in Berkeley? Uh, I don't think so. There is uh, Oakland, the Joaquin Miller Park stuff, but I don't think I've actually uh written in Berkeley. Dan, Brian, you've inspired. Lost 20 pounds so far. Awesome. Long way to go. Dude, go pick up a bucket of water that weighs 20 pounds and just imagine that's what you used to be carrying around. So just one step at a time, man. Whatever you're doing, it's working. I'm all about, uh, you know, my, my two cents with fitness and nutrition is stop drinking alcohol, stop drinking soda, stop, you know, stop the sweets if you can. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of that too. But uh, the liquids, the coffee, just just start on a liquid water only and uh you can you can start losing weight now chris cxk he's doing the opposite you know his wife christine is cooking all those damn awesome cookies and pastries and ah uh, you just can't stop she's trying to kill him i think i think she's trying to kill the man <laughs> there we go we got some good uh stream labs bot knocking people out from spamming in the chat i love it devin mcmanus with the five dollar super chat super looking forward to spain later this year me too, man. Spain in October. We 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 love it. We love it. <laughs> it's all about it. What brand is the tape? There's a link in the description. It, it, I'm spamming the link. It's 3M, but uh, it's there. Oh, Ryan, crash in February, dislocated your shoulder, and today I found out that I don't need surgery, but I'm also clear to ride. Whoa, nice. That's pretty uh awesome. I guess that uh boom got uh got locked back in. And uh, good to go, huh? Oh, man. Mountain Bikes and Jeeps with $2 Super Chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Chump MTB. <laughs> Everyone remain calm. I'm here. <laughs> thank you for the $10 Super Chat. Chump. Love it, love it. All right. I do want to come back, go back to the North Shore. I think that would be very, very fun. So, let's see. Oh, my little Stream Deck thing isn't working. What's up with that? Let's, let's, uh... Yeah, should I mess with it? I'm gonna I'm gonna boot it up. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get it going. I don't think it's gonna go. I don't think it wants to go. Technical difficulties. It is what it is. Let's quit this. What do you think about going back to Mountain Creek? I would love to go back to Mountain Creek Bike Park. I don't think it's going to happen though. This summer. This summer is like already packed to the gills. There's a, uh, there's no wiggle room already this summer, but I've got a couple good places that I haven't been. And that's kind of what it's all about. I love going back to places that I have been that I really love. And I love going back to going to places that, uh, are great. Ah, oh, Wassaker still waiting for the redemption CA shirt. Maybe, maybe you bought it a little bit, a uh, bit, a bit late, or maybe they got lost in the mail. Either way, if it takes a little bit longer, don't hesitate to like email Teespring and be like, hey, it didn't come. And uh, they're pretty good. <laughs> Dan, if you lose 30 more pounds, you're inviting me out. Hell yeah. Get out on the trails. I think that's what you meant at least. <laughs> Whatever you like. <laughs> it's all, no, no judgment here. Ah, uh, we're going. Peep my ride with the $20 super chat. Holy moly. 
first super chat when you're coming back to Austin, Austin, Texas. I would like to get back there. I think it might be a little while before I get back to Austin though. Uh, oh, there's so much good stuff. I can't recommend it enough. The food was so damn good. That was like such the highlight and uh, hope you guys get back to it. Scott, yeah, I saw you post on Instagram, Scott, that you got your uh, Redemption CA shirt. Loving it, like the posts on the Instagram. Instagram, ah, is this the drop of post? Uh-oh, uh-oh, there we go. Uh, Instagram kind of sucks when you, you know, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I get a lot of likes and a lot of follows on my video, on my posts, and that all gets thrown in with like at mentions. So it's very rare that I can actually see that someone tagged me in one of their posts. And uh, it's all buried with stuff, but every once in a while I can actually see and be like, oh yeah, okay, Scott said something, so it's cool. Alec, what's up, dude? I see you there. MTB to Borneo. Dude, that would be pretty sick. I, I, if there's good riding there, there it, uh, it's I'm, I'm all for it. Borneo, that sounds very exotic. Henry Dvorak, thank you for the $2.99. Super chat, my friend. I think uh, you already popped one in earlier. I appreciate that. So I weighed the bike. Uh, Sid, or Sid Mackey wanted to know how much the bike... Uh, uh, no shout outs! <laughs> Just participate. Just ask me an honest question. <laughs> 462 watching. Thank you guys. Hit the thumbs up if you're enjoying my ramblings. All I do is uh, make some kind of excuse every Tuesday night to hang out with you guys and be like, oh, I'm going to wrap my frame with something. And uh, so, you know, it's all about hanging out with you guys and, uh, and, and chatting. So I weighed the bike. It was 26 pounds. 13 ounces, and uh, it's pretty good, it's pretty light. So if we if we put a little frame protection on here, hopefully we're not going to get too many ounces. I'm not too worried, but you know, you don't want to kill the thing. So first things first, we clamp the dropper post as hard as we can. Ah. Am I still in the shot? Am I still in the frame? <sighs> You're wearing me out here, MTBP. PEI. If I knew what that meant, I would uh, respond to you, but you're just wearing me out. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Wyatt going to the Giants game? Nice. Has the regular season started? Bearded empty beer. I do like the tool organization on this wall. I'm starting to run out of room a little bit, so I just got this like Pedro's vice whip thing, and I don't really have a place to put it. I guess I could replace the chain whip, but it's very heavy. I like it. I think it. It's more about the looks. I really want it to look good on camera and uh, and to be pretty good. So it's uh, it's it's decent. I, I think it's pretty decent. And when I'm in here, I can really get to everything and uh, have uh, have a good time. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's get this shot framed up. Patrick Moore, thank you for the one dollar super chat. Holy moly, I missed a bunch. <laughs> Backyard. I, I turned my back for. Uh, Two seconds. Yes, I'm going to Sea Otter. I post it on Patreon. Every year I post it on Patreon where I'm going to be, and it's been the same every year. Yes, Jessica, I think that's where we met the first time, right? Uh, at, uh, at Sea Otter. So I hope to see you there again. I'm going to be on there. Uh, yeah, forget it. Uh, no spoilers. You guys figure it out. Uh, but Seth will be there every day in either the Diamondback booth, the Slime booth, or the, the Box booth. Go see him. Uh, outdoor Adventures with Scott, 999. Super chat, your rides at Alify and Santos inspired me to make the trip from North Carolina well worth it. Hell yes, I love hearing that. That was the number one thing on yesterday's video. So many good stories from people that were like, man, I, I went to this place because of you. And that is, that's everything. That means the world to me. That's the reason I started this channel, so I could go ride all over the world and to, uh, there's no DVO on this Vince, you know damn well. <laughs> What's up Vince? Th th just that I could go ride the best trails in the world, share it, share it with you and show you that travel is worth your while. <laughs> Seth moved through that place like Justin Bieber at a middle school, can't move yet. Last year you had a pretty good disguise going but you could still recognize him pretty easily. It's a little sh on the shorter side, but uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. DR05 guitar. Yes, women flock to me as an empty beer. I can barely hold the women off of me. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, no, there's no women here. <laughs> there are a couple women here for sure, but the, don't get it uh, twisted. If I was a some type of singer or something, maybe uh, something would happen. But 
no, it's, it's not happening. It's not happening. That's all right, though. I'm, I'm still living the dream, more or less. <laughs> <clears throat> so I got Patrick Moore with the $1 Super Chat. Josh Libri with the $5 Canadian Dollar Reduce. Longtime viewer, first time donor. <laughs> no more freeloading. Thank you, man. If you're in here in the chat, hanging out, having fun, busting balls, that's great. If you throw me a thumbs up, if you throw me a comment, even an email once every two years, I appreciate it. However you enjoy my content, however you wish to consume my content, you're, you're all about it. Yeah, Ryan, is she gonna, uh, who wears the DVO shirt? That'd be great. <laughs> uh, MTB Shack with the $4.99. Once again, or was it a different MTB someone? Uh, dude, come down to Brown County, Indiana Epic with us Midwesterners. I've heard, I've heard very, very much about the damn, uh, Cor uh, the, not Corner Canyon, I read something on a chat. Indiana, Brown County Epic. I've heard so much, I need to get there. I do, I will make it happen someday. Oh, look at that Streamlabs, just knocking people out in the chat, left and right, taking names. Yeah, DBO's not ever gonna go away, Axe Man. <laughs> it's been like three, three, uh, three years. Man, three years, can you guys believe it? Insane. Dan Sisson with the $5 Super Chat, hi. Hello, Dan. MTV Kevin with the $5 super chat with a thumbs up. I dig it. Uh-oh, we're still still rolling. There we go. <laughs> Putting the caps in the all cappers. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, so on the uh, so as some of you guys know, the Thorbea Rayon had a very like fancy, super nice frame protection on it that was like all custom cut done by frame up brikes in Pleasant Hill. And uh, super expensive though. It just it it's all like form fit. I think it saved a lot of damage. I probably should take it off just to kind of see how much it saved the frame. But uh, it just, it, it, it's very expensive. It's very like dial in your bike. You've got an expensive bike, spend good money on it. So with this bike, I, 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 I so also Ron from Frame Up Bikes, he put on, if you were watching, or no wait, that video hasn't come out yet on YouTube, but I talk about it more. Uh, uh, it has this like ceramic pro coating. So all of, like the high end cars, when people buy their high end car like Ferraris and Porsches, they take it into like Ron at East Bay Auto Spa and they get it all like like covered in this ceramic pro, which is like a wax. It's like a it's not a physical it's a physical barrier, but it's like more of a nano barrier. It's more of like a chemical barrier. Better than wax, not as good as, you know, some big old chunk of tape that you would put over something. So uh so yeah, that's what I've got on this bike. So it's supposed to shed water and dirt more easily and on the frame it's here and there, but I still want the physical protection for underneath and stuff. So we're gonna do it with the little sticker thing. A <laughs> screen protector for your car, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little side sip here. No front brakes, the BMC does not have cush core. I, uh, I've got these thin little, <laughs> these thin little tires and uh, they did pretty good. They did pretty good in Moab. Uh, so light, so light, but uh, not, I heard Kushcore might be coming out with something new at Sea Otter. I'm, I'm all ears, but I'm kind of over it. I'm just over it. Like the, <clears throat> the, the pain to pleasure ratio. I know Alex, single track sampler loves it. I think Dakota Tag, Tag Along MTV, I think he's sold. Uh, Zach from Trail Peak, like all the great shredders, they love it, but I just, I can't do it. I can't, that, that, oh, it kills me. What's up, Sonia? I see ya. Oh yeah, hair's looking good. We know it, we know it. <clears throat> so yeah, 26 pounds, 13 ounces for the old BMC Agonist. And yeah, let's, uh, let's play with this bad boy here. <laughs> Yeah, Scott, I did. I, I, we drove out and back every day. So for uh, X Checker, it was like two and a half hours out, two and a half hours back. And uh, Annadale, that's only about an hour. Vallejo is pretty central, which is pretty cool. I've got uh, a pretty, pretty nicely centralized to be able to uh, do some of these rides that are within striking distance. I've got my back to you guys, darn it. This is it's killing me. 500, <laughs> 500 people here to watch me put some tape on my bike. We all know it's not about the tape. The tape is just an excuse so I can hang out 
and chat with you guys. That's what it's all about. The community, the, uh, the undying awesomeness of uh, three years. Can you believe this? Link in the description, Liam. Link in the description. I didn't take single track sampler to Georgetown. Georgetown was having, if it rains, they close it for like three days and it rained off and on the entire time uh, sampler was here. So we will, we will get there. We will get there eventually. I will get there eventually because <laughs> Georgetown kicks ass. <laughs> Mark Jones is here for the take. He's not here for the interaction. He's not here for the camaraderie. All right, this looks about good. So I've got a little plastic thing on the Ritmo. It's kind of nice. I took the little plastic underguard off, and then I could make the tape go all the way down the length and then kind of cut it off. It didn't have to be very pretty at the bottom, so it was nice. <laughs> Somebody said they saw a bear passing behind me. <laughs> oh, Chump MTB, uh, $5 super chat. Thank you, man. So what is it you don't like about the Kush Core? It's the install. It's the taking it in and taking it out. And uh, for an XC race, like you're adding pounds if you add Kush Core in the front and rear and where maybe you could add that in a more stronger tire and then just you know go with it kind of thing i i had my air pressure up quite high hey youtube premium gives you a free two dollar super chat who knew dan sisson with the, the two dollar super chat thank you i think the ride quality is better on the the kush core of course but it just didn't blow me away like other guys it just blows them away so much they love it so much and for me it's just uh man if i uh whew, if i think about having to change that on the trail or like switch it out it's crazy oh wow scott you spent the entire week at x checker that's so cool very cool yeah uh, shout out to youtube premium it really is an amazing uh thing i don't ever watch ads on youtube because i have youtube premium and it's funny every other person i hang out with when i like watch a video with them it's like what we're watching ads what the hell uh it supports creators way more like maybe 20 times more 50 times more uh monetarily if you have a uh, YouTube premium so normally maybe one of your views is worth one cent and then <laughs> and then said it's worth like 20 cents or 30 cents so uh, pretty good pretty good uh, the ergon grips were good it actually I uh, felt pretty good there was a lot of uh, suggestions these are like the fat GA2s I believe and uh, yeah I dug them there uh, uh, tons of uh, comments on the uh, on the Ibis Ritmo video Nathan McCreary with the 99 cent. Thank you very much. Benjamin Early with the 199. How are you liking the Aragon grips? Okay, there we go. Covered that. <laughs> Fender MTB with the $1. Dig it. Okay, so Ergon GA2 fact is the uh, thing. So, okay, let's go about here. And I'm going to need tape for my tape. Oh, no. I need, I need an extra hand. I, I turn my back. And you Canadians just, <laughs> they won't stop. Kayla Hinton with the $10 Canadian. Hey, Brian, how are you, man? I just finished the extended Moab Stage 1. Moab rocks. Yeehaw, good on you, man. You just rocked it. Can't wait to see the rest. Hope you had a blast. I did have a blast, Kayla, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. I am very, very excited about Moab rocks videos coming out and everyone, <clears throat> and everyone seeing them. And I'm just very, very excited about uh, the potential of the XC stage racing I think it's just really, really fun. And uh, <laughs> Fenrir just burning up his free super chats. <laughs> we got the dollar squads coming through. I appreciate that. Oh, did I miss WJT's garage? Because uh, Fenrir did it twice. Hey, Brian, need your help with the trail issue. Send you an email, North County, San Diego versus CDFW. You don't need to read this. <laughs> just check your email if you can. WJT's garage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm always uh, good on the emails. It might take a little while to get me to get through them, but I always read my emails and I always reply as best I can. And if you're just spamming me, uh, might not, but uh, I do my best. Holy crap. <laughs> if I see another thing about PEI in Canada, I've had it. <laughs> Thank you. Shut up and ride. <laughs> Send me an email if you want to talk to me about PEI in Canada. Scott with the $5 super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Neil Wadby with the dollar and the dollar. Double down it. <laughs> Brian, what's the best way to spam you? <laughs> just send me an email with a normal conversation. Isn't it all about just getting me all fired up? I love it. All right, let's go back to here. Let's cut her down. I 
posted my sea otter plans on Patreon. I do not prefer using a rigid fork, Triple Squad. It's gaming. That uh, that would be that would be hell. Ooh, cut the corners round, keeps them from peeling up. Okay, okay. Good call. Oh yeah, very good call because it's like always going to kind of be uh, like a little bit of friction on there. Give them a little roundish, roundish edge. Looks ugly as hell, but <laughs> no one's going to see that. No one's going to see that. Yeah, Sean, there's definitely finally some nice weather in the Bay Area going on right now. It is super nice. Oh yeah, Os Osmar, good call. Put the bike upside down. Thank you, thank you. All about the community. Will the bike stick? Will there be a bunch of water that comes out? All right, let me drop this. Awkward. Not a huge fan of this park tool stand. It's just something I've had forever. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> Jeez. That was an effort. Holy moly. All right, there we go. It's like a Jimmy hat for your bike. All right, that's even still a little too high. Ooh, there's water in there. Holy crap, that's horrible. I hate the idea that, uh, because my bike was super dirty, and I absolutely hate the idea that there has been water sitting in my frame like that. Ugh. There's like no weeping holes to let it out. Yikes. That just, I'm gonna lose a few ounces of uh, weight there, I think. Ugh. Learn from me, learn from me. <laughs> Make sure you uh, you keep your, your bike upside down. It's still dripping. <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I, I see the suggestions. <laughs> take the wheels off, probably a good idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the front wheel off because there's just enough uh, Enough goofiness here. Now we're getting into action. Now we're really... Oh my god, that water is absolutely killing me. That's very... <laughs> the post is being loaded very awkwardly. But it, it takes giant hits of, uh, you know, coming down and stuff. I could clamp... Could clamp the top tube. It's also awkward. There's something rattling around in the frame. There we go. This is like, eh. It's definitely a little bit of uh, lateral force, but it can't be as bad as riding it and hitting it on a trail, like all out. Man, that had to be a couple ounces of weight right there. Crazy. Okay, reset. <clears throat> All mountain style is a lot easier than this. There's no way. It's one thing. Come on. <laughs> it's, it's like 14 bucks on Amazon. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Gotta remember to refill the water when I'm done. There is this little, like, weeping hole here. Yeah, I should definitely take the... <laughs> the, the, uh, the seat out and just let it... Let it leak. So, got this, like, little hole here. Oh, whether I should cover it up, punch it, just go over it. I think I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna, I'll punch it out. I'll punch it out. Okay. Yeah. Helicopters are coming. I'm too far away. I cannot see anything. <laughs> Backyard trail builds with the dollar ninety nine super chat. Thanks. Now I gotta pee. <laughs> the, the subliminal uh, messages from the uh, the drip drip drip. 
Here we go. Here we go. It's a little bit, a couple little scuffs uh, from the race. Nothing too bad. There's one like big scuff on the side here, which I have no idea where it happened. It happened even before I got on this thing. First ride tomorrow on the channel in Moab on Slick Rock. It is a, a good one. I love that trail. Who who here has ridden Slick Rock? That's what I'm, I'm curious about. People, uh, people don't like it as much as I do. I really like that trail. It's just crazy punchy ups and downs, which uh, I enjoy. I think most people don't really like the crazy punchy ups and downs. It's not... Uh, I think it's a very foreign foreign concept something that just like really kicks your ass to you get into it all right let's see that actually didn't go on too bad get some of them bubbles out there it kind of peels up a little too easy i would say like probably eventually a little uh peels off a little bit but the width is like perfect. This is like, on the Ripmo and on this bike, this width down here has been perfect. To be unseen and underneath and it's not perfect. <laughs> My lining up of it isn't perfect, but you can kind of pull it off and move it and squish it and push the air bubbles out. Oh yeah. I'm too far from the chat. This is just, this is killing me. Gotta get back to my people. <laughs> I can see Chris George commenting, but I can't read what he's saying. Yeah, and the, I think the best part is like if it sucks, then <laughs> just just peel it off and do it again, or like just get rid of it. Like it's just totally worth the. Uh, the experimentation and all the other frame protectors are just so uh they're intimidating you're gonna spend all this money on this thing and then it just doesn't quite work when i've i've been able to do i've got a lot of spare that could work i'm making uh making the chat a little bit bigger here Woo. So there we go, got some bubbles in there. Not too bad, I can peel it, re-peel. It's, it has a really nice texture to it. It's like, it is shower tread. So it's like, so you don't slip in the, uh, in the shower. <laughs> but, <laughs> so it's nice. It's a very brutific texture. Cool. So uh, there was this little plastic plug in there which I will punch this out and put it back in. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's, it's kind of rough. It's, it's not quite sandpaper, but it's, it's definitely rough. It's got, some, uh, it's got some texture to it. Got one of these little picks, little pick tool. Poke it through. Try not to uh, puncture anything within the the bike frame itself. Google Glasses <laughs> it was built for this kind of stuff. Read your chat while working. I like that. I like that idea. I think really I just need a bigger. I need a big screen TV that's just massive, and somehow reroute it so I can put it up there. And the lights got to kind of move because this is this is the setup right now so i've got the lights and the, the camera and i think a like maybe a 46 inch could work perfectly in that little corner there Ooh, a heat gun could smooth it out I, it's not too bad i'm not actually too worried about uh the little imperfections it's, it's pretty decent it kind of has that rough texture already so it's going to be decently imperfect to begin with 
Now this is the question if this little, this little thing will actually plug back in and not just get lost out on the trail. <laughs> Yeah, an iPad. An iPad also would be good that I could bring around, bring around, and kind of have with me. Uh, that's that's a good call, actually, a really good call. Uh, Harris, there's a link in the description. Link in the description to to what I'm doing, what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> head camera, definitely get a little head, a POV action. Ah, <sighs> Triple Squads Gaming, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. There's a link to this bike in the description. You can see how many cogs the, uh, the bike has. BKAgonist.com. Ah, poor, poor Smeppy Dad. Oh, <coughs> broken collarbone. That sucks. Yeah, easy dirt life. I've definitely had quite a lot of hits that like rip right through the frame protector and uh, hopefully they're helping and not just, you know, dying. Ha ha ha, Phoenix Matt got that one by 11. You're getting there, whatever works. I, uh, I, you know, when I peel uh, Rob, talking about residue left over from the 3M tape. It's possible. It, it's just, I think it's better than the frame being messed up, right? So if there's residue, maybe you take some alcohol to it. I don't think it's going to be any kind of uh, permanent damage. It's very, very possible, though. <clears throat> yeah. Thanks, Sprocket Girl. I appreciate that. Moab was awesome. It's never going back in. I've, I've messed this up. I'm changing the title to Marathon Frame Maintenance. <laughs> Goo Gone is a good uh, killer. All right, let's get a roll call. Where are you guys checking in from? That's what I want to hear right now. Ooh, packing tape to remove the residue. I like that. Thank you, B-Man, for that little tip. We got Maryland, Axeman, first to respond. Texas, boom, we're blowing up now. Lots of Texas people, I dig it. A couple Denver folks. Bama, roll tide, baby. Vegas, Aussie, St. George, San Luis Obispo, first live stream, welcome. Adelaide, a lot of Aussie, Aussie folks, I dig it. Somehow the 6.30 uh, Pacific, 9.30, uh, oh, I didn't know you were in San Diego, Sonia. That's cool. South Kakalaki. <laughs> Melbourne, Massachusetts, San Rafael. Oh, man, they're coming in hot. Sean Wright, got the Walnut Creek action. I dig it. The Pilch, what's up, Pilch? I see you. Uh, did you see my, uh, I don't know if you have Instagram or not, but I, post, I posted a bunch of pictures of uh, stickers. I put a bunch of new stickers on my sticker board today and your uh, your yak sticker got and a lot of people got a big kick out of the yak sticker egypt kootenai nice q tube pedals or clips that's the question i always do clips aka clipless <laughs> careful with them caps colorado sweet we got all kinds of folks in here i love it while i uh while i mess with this Damn thing. To eternity. I had to I had to play with it, didn't I? 3 a.m. in York. Middle age MTB, man. You can't get no sleep out there. <laughs> uh, got a few uh looks like AZ Dirt Life and uh <laughs> Shut Up and Ride and then a couple other guys. You all know each other. It's kinda cool. <laughs> We're fine. Jericho Jr. watching from Bahrain. Any good riding out there? That's the question. That's all I want to know is any good riding out there. Just slowly picking away at this as gentle as possible. <laughs> 12.30. 
12? 12 a.m. in Victoria. Okay. Kristen is in Las Vegas. Triple Squads Gaming in the Philippines. Okay. Cobra Kyle, what's up, man? I couldn't find your Instagram when I posted the pictures on uh, the stickers. It must not be uh, Cobra Kyle. It must be something else. <laughs> Don't scratch it. You're supposed to be protecting it. Very true. Very true. Okay, it's middle of the day in Australia. I, I was somebody said to him, "Okay, Cobra underscore Kyle." Okay, I must. I didn't find it then. My bad. I should have. Uh, I was trying to tag you in the little sticker post today on Instagram. Middle of nowhere, Mississippi. Amelia K. All right. I've had enough of this. <laughs> I had to try this stupid little weeping hole thing. I'm going to super glue the thing in there. I should come to Australia. It seems to be the most common topic of my live streams. Any more agua? Any more water left in here? All right, I'm, I'm flipping her back. <laughs> Dan Sisson with the final super chat. My girlfriend's listening to the stream live in the shower. Should I be worried? Hey, Lauren, how's it going? <laughs> you should be worried, Dan. You never know. You gotta protect. You gotta protect your what you got. Always, always be striving. Always be, always be the catch. Don't, don't sleep on anything. <clears throat> there's some. There's always someone else out there to take what you've got. Hey, Rose. How you doing out there in Cordelia, huh? <laughs> the wives of BKXC. <laughs> All right, so let's go down here. Make sure I'm good here. What happened to the Yeti? It got stolen. Check the back catalog for that one. Cheers from Argentina, awesome. How many breaks have I had? I have, I think I broke my heel in, uh, in, uh, in Spain, but it didn't really stop me from riding. It just kind of hurt. But, uh, B-Man, I have thought about using a GPS tracker inside the frame, but all the ones that I looked at that like phone home, they all, uh, they only have a two week like clock on them. So you'd have to be constantly pulling them out, putting them in, pulling it out. Like it just, it just seems like, oh, I forgot to charge the battery. My bike got stolen. Bryce just sold the Yeti SP66. Nice, dude. I'm sure you got a lot of glad, uh, good use out of that. Very cool. But yeah, it's it's still a pretty good battery with a. Uh... Oh, see you later, Emily. Good to see you. Checking in here. There's links in the description for you people typing in all caps. Uh, check them out. Check them out. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so this is a little. I know it's not as tricky actually. I thought this was going to be a little more tricky because it was thin, but it's actually not that thin. So if I, I'm not going to try to put a bend in it. I'm going to keep it pretty simple here. Pretty simple. Cut it that way. What's up, Kenny? Good to see you here in the chat. It may affect the paint. I don't care. <laughs> it affects it less than it being slammed into rocks. So it, it's very possible that there's some residue and it destroys the paint, but uh, it can't, it can never be as worse as actually slamming the damn bike into the side of stuff. Yeah, this is a straight and I think this is a straight enough uh, shot here. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Yep, taking the rear wheel off, probably a good idea. I, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm all about the keep it simple method for sure. What? What, what is this? A four? Is it a five? Ooh, let's go into the Hard gear here. 
That's an XX1 Eagle, baby. You guys are worn out. <laughs> care either way about Fox or Rock Shocks. I haven't really seen uh I haven't really really either one seems good to me when uh I think you kinda have to be at a certain level of uh well you know something broke on me and be like oh my god that's you know I hate this but no it's it seems all good to me how much damage is here Already, holy crap! It might just be a, might just be a little bit of muck. We got trail features with the five dollars super chat. Helicopter tape does, in fact, not make your bike fly. <laughs> Speaking from experience, helicopter tape gives you wings. There we go. Yeah, the inside, this is actually pretty cool on this bike. It has uh, this like little loam shelf protector, which is awesome. So many bikes just are completely destroyed right here. I remember the Bronson, the, the Ripmo within the first ride, like so many bikes just get destroyed on that section because your tires are like bigger than they've ever been. You know, it's like, oh, 2.6, 2.5. And uh, they're like, yeah, run a big ass tire but it just, it makes no distance when, uh, when there's, when there's, uh, what do you call it? When there's mud and muck and rocks getting kicked up, it's, it's very, it's a dangerous place in there. It's a dangerous place. Thank you, Rax Rides. Thank you. Uh, XRP, is that some kind of break? I, uh... It sounds familiar, but I actually don't, uh, don't know. Eh, I can leave the chain on. It's a little bit in the way, but it's not too bad. Yeah, MTB Ripper, tall boy got all chewed up in that spot, totally. Welcome, Snoopy McFerrin. Not to be confused with Crashy McSquirrel, who uh, may or may not be hanging out and lurking about in the chat right now. What's up, Thomas? Good to see you. People are trickling in. We're almost at an hour right now, and nothing has been accomplished. That's pretty much the typical uh, the, the typical BKXC live stream, except for what we have accomplished is friendship. <laughs> That's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. Henry Dvorak, what about a trail dog? I would love a trail dog, but uh, I wouldn't be able to take that trail dog to Czech Republic or Japan or anywhere. It would, I would have to be uh, bound to the United States. I would have to get a van. I'd have to grow a beard. Come on, let's let's not get carried away here. Let's, let's uh, I don't want to hear about the trail dog. <laughs> now, what I would like is if my mom and dad got a dog and then I could come around and pick the dog up and go. <laughs> My mom's sitting at home right now going, chit, chit, chit. <laughs> no ideas about a dog. No ideas about a dog. <laughs> you could go walk the dog, you know. Oh, he'd be so fun. Dogs take a little while to get full strength. Uh, uh, like to be able to take out on the trail. Well, at least uh, that's what the veterinarian will tell you, you know. <laughs> you know, it, if we're out here in the wild, out in the, back in the caveman days, the dog's got to be able to run, you know? He's not going to sit around camp. He's got to earn his keep. AC <laughs> Dirt Life has three trail dogs. None of them like the trail. <laughs> That's great. Trail girlfriends are better than trail dogs. <laughs> Poor dog would be tuckered out chasing me. Maybe, maybe. Those Vishlas are pretty rad. Uh, Katarina Nash and Jeff Cavish, uh, they were at the Moab Rocks. They were number one man, number one lady, and they had Vishla. I think they were Vishlas. They might have actually been uh, a little, like, hybrid. Like, I almost kind of saw a beagle in their uh, 
like in the look so but they were trail dogs they just left them out <laughs> like they went out for a race and they just left them outside and they were there <laughs> when he got back <laughs> so pretty cool they've got uh, some good stuff yeah dakota's dog uh, tag along mtb dakota his uh, his dog is so cool that dog is high energy though like i played with it a little bit and it's like oh man it will uh it will go after the frisbee until it dies for sure <laughs> that's chef and ryan i was married to a trail dog I have a couch wife. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Don't let her find out about this. Don't let her find out about this. Thank you, Kyle. I'm digging this bike as well. I can't wait to show you guys. If you're on uh, if you're on Patreon, you've already seen me ride this bike twice. It's it's needless to say it's awesome. I'm very, very surprised. I talk all about it in the videos and uh, looking forward to hearing what you guys think about the Moab Rocks because it was... Pretty sweet. <laughs> Chump MTV. Simple solution. Get your parents a dog as a gift. Now that, that is just downright bad. Anyone that gets someone a dog as a gift is like pretty... <laughs> you better have spoken about that. You better really, really have talked it through. <laughs> Thanks for the $5 super chat. Oh, I could get a cat. Uh, my brother's cat is pretty nice, Ash, and uh, she's after about five or six years, I can finally pet her, which is pretty nice. I appreciate that. <laughs> so if I did get a cat, it'd be, it'd be nice if uh, the cat would actually, you know, give a damn about who I am. <laughs> I had a beagle uh, as a kid. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool to, to get a beagle once again as a trail dog. I don't think my beagle would have, eh, maybe eventually would have been good enough for running. My beagle loved to smell everything. I don't know how you would ever keep it uh, on task. You really have to beat the hell out of it to, to get it to obey you and be like, no, you cannot go anywhere else. Just follow where I'm going. Because uh, my dog, Sonny, he, he would follow his nose to the ends of the earth. <laughs> Cobra Kyle's dream is to have a trail goat. Not entirely sure that's a realistic goal. Well, my buddy Joe, he used to have a goat, and now he's into mountain biking, so he might be able to actually uh, to pave the way. Talking million view video right there, Cobra Kyle. <laughs> Alex Vanderhoff, I could have one of those cat backpacks, totally. <laughs> I put the cat in the backpack and go ride the trails of Japan. <laughs> Trail pig, trail goat. Goats might be able to run a bit, huh? Trail deer. Not looking bad, huh? It's got kind of the, eh, am I in the frame? I don't know if I'm in the frame or not. But, uh, yep, some air bubbles. Don't really care. <laughs> Better than scratches. Oh, pretty nice. Yeah, I like the diamond plate on the wall as well, MTV Ripper. That was like, uh, I realized very early on that I would be setting a bunch of crap against the wall and that it would just get messed up all the time. <laughs> Trail yak. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, me and my dad got the diamond plate on there and it, it's definitely saved the wall. Otherwise, it would have just been beat to hell. Got too much stuff to uh, throw, throw down all the time. And now for a very accurate uh, cutting. See, you can you can do it yourself and save money, or you could pay someone to meticulously do all this. It's your choice. I'm gonna go cheapo today. <laughs> I'm doing cheapo today. Somehow, Amron got just perfectly under the, 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 oh no, there we go. <laughs> Please refrain from spamming the chat, my friend. I saw a guy riding with a parrot. Oh, oh, the bird people just always come off as attention whores to me. <laughs> it's like, hey. Oh, 
probably get to pick up a lot of chicks that way. Like, oh my goodness, a bird. You've got a bird? Wow. That is unreal. <laughs> or at least that's the plan, to pick up a lot of chicks that way. It might actually not come together. A bird? What? Those things last, like, they survive longer than, uh... <laughs> they survive longer than you do. You gotta put the... <laughs> the birds in your wheel. In your will. A trail cock! I have a rooster, a trail rooster. <laughs> B-Man, if you want to go with InvisiFrame, you should do it. I don't want to spend a million hours messing around. I just want to like do, I just want to do this one, this one, and the underneath. Like there's only one, two, three, four, five spots that I really want to protect. I, and this is like very half-assed, <laughs> which I like. I know they do fit the bikes pretty, oh wow, you've done five bikes. See, I, you probably have that creative side where you can do, uh, you know, you can probably like, uh, like the, the good hand-eye coordination for like building mo models or something like that. For me, I just, uh, I'm so bad at this stuff. I don't want to take like a million, uh, a million hours. See, three hours, that's still, yeah, that's not too bad. But this stuff, I feel like this stuff is better than InvisiFrame though, because it's got, uh, it's just got so much grip, it's like grip tape, but it's not quite grip tape, you know? Back of the seat tube as well. Yeah, I think this is kind of an uneven space where that would help. I'm not, I'll think about that, Axe Man. This, this little thing is the, the key. It already has it, so I don't wor worry about it too much. Good morning, MTV Scotland. What about 4 a.m. or something? <laughs> hey Google, what time is it in Scotland? The time in Scotland, UK is 3.30 a.m. Holy moly, MTB Scotland must have gone, got up to take a whiz and then he saw that there was a notification that, <laughs> that BKXC was streaming. Love seeing the Europeans in here. Oh wow, you're getting up for work, wow, holy moly. I did not, uh, did not know that. Interesting. There's so many things about you guys that I don't know. It's, uh, from the comments, you know, I, I always get bits and pieces and, and kind of learn a little bit about you, but, uh, there's, there's a whole world out there of, of people and stories that I kind of sort of know, but I really know nothing about. I think it's time for a CrossFit update. What are you guys thinking? <laughs> CrossFit has been going good, painful as ever. I did it yesterday, I did it today, and it, uh, it was awesome. It was awesome. I'm, I'm feeling the results. I don't think, the, you know, the cardio in CrossFit is pretty ridiculous. I don't, it, it, it hasn't quite transferred over to the mountain biking yet. I need to get on the mountain bike some more. If you're following me on Strava, you're seeing kind of where I'm going, what I'm doing. Got the power meter on this bike so I can get a little bit of an informed ride. I think it just, it all comes down to just more, uh, more time in the saddle. You know, uh, Sid Mackey and my buddy Blaine and Pat, they have a coach, Coach Mike, and I think it's Mind Right Endurance that they use. If you guys are in the, if you happen to be in the chat, uh, throw a link if you know it. But uh, they have a coach and Blaine was able to, Blaine's been off the bike for a long time and he was able to beat me handily in, the, in uh, Moab Rocks. So he, when you have a real coach throwing a real plan together, I think it can be a very, very, man, this is going on really nice. Uh, it can be a very, very powerful thing. and. Uh, I just, I feel like with my schedule, I would just be the worst client of all time. I would just be like, hey, yeah, I'm traveling uh, this day. Uh, I don't want this day. Like, eh, uh, you know, I, I feel like I would be such a pain in the butt. Man, that went on really nice. I am digging that. It actually looks good, feels good. Yeah, baby. Welcome, Gabriel. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Oh, I don't ride flats, Ashton. I use clips, but I, I like 510s. 
and I forget which ones I use. <laughs> Kestrel? Kestrel Lace? I'm getting better and better, B-Man. You know it. That one on. That one, uh, went on really nicely. Thinking about the top two, but it tapers so much, it's kind of weird. It's kind of an awkward surface to do it. I don't get too many, uh, yeah, wrap, wrap my bottle holder. <laughs> Nice, Rafe hitting Trainer Road. I, I do have a Trainer, uh, uh, I do have a Trainer Road subscription, which was gifted to me by Trainer Road. So it's always there in the background to hop on. But like, once again, I feel like, uh, I feel like it's kind of half-assed, right? It's like, oh, okay, what should I do? Should I get on this and just do it? It's not, uh, it's not tailored for me that a coach would be tailored for like what I'm doing and what I want to do. And, I don't know. When me and me and my brother were the fastest in like 2013, 2014, we just went out and rode all the time. That was all there was to it. You can buy this, this shirt right now. I'm only going to have this shirt up for another 24 hours or so. There's been uh, every five minutes, there's been a link in the, in the chat for the shirt, Redemption CA is over, but you can still own a piece of the action. I am going to Sea Otter. I posted my whereabouts on Patreon, if you're interested. There is a $1 a month tier on Patreon. You get the Patreon podcast, you get news, where I'm going on trips, if you want to join a trip. I, I post it on there. Uh, when I do Chasing Epic type trips, group trips, there is, uh, if you're not able to commit that three bucks a month for the early cut videos, if you want to kind of hear what's going on in the BKXC world, there's there's also the one dollar tier. Whatever floats your boat. Three bucks a month, cheap, cheap as a, a pro bar, one pro bar, or two science and sport gels. <laughs> Does it come in pillow form? Dang it! I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we were talking about. Ooh, I missed the spot. I should I should have took the wheels off. When I did the spray down. Good day, Isaac. I see you there. Dude, just take just take the dive and just buy it. <laughs> there's no there's no reason for 15 bucks. You can find you can put uh, you can put it in your shower and protect yourself from falling on your butt. Like that that's kind of the biggest thing about why I wanted to do this as a live stream because. We all have like, oh, I need to get this super special thing or, you know, spend a bunch of money. This is like 15 bucks. It's a ton of it. You're going to actually, uh, you can use it. If you don't like it, you just take it off and be like, eh, hey, it was 15 bucks. St. Joseph. Ashton, where is St. Joseph? That sounds like somewhere in, uh, somewhere in Canada I haven't heard of. You could wrap your rims. You could. <laughs> that, I, my rims actually take... A ton of damage so uh, wrapping my rooms would probably be a good idea hey look at this I didn't realize there's like one post here and nothing over here which makes for some awkwardness I'll have to go up go down go side I'll make it happen okay Saint uh, St. Something is near, is Missouri near Kansas. Okay, there's good, uh, good trails. I got five on it. What's up, Steady Spin? Welcome to the wild, wild world of the BKXC live stream. When we're about an hour deep, everyone's tired out. I'm just here hanging out. Anyone that basically writes in the chat gets a response, we're here. I'm here for you guys. And yes, I've seen, see, the repetitiveness tonight is, is, is killing me a little bit. I wish I could just have like a acknowledged, <laughs> I'm not reading what you said, acknowledged. <laughs> I haven't, Toby, I have not seen the Gorilla Tape frame wrap. I, I, I get it, and you just kind of wrap it, and uh, it's strong, it's cheap for sure, but I kind of like this, yeah. MTV Flowrider, what's up, Orby? I see ya, I see ya. That stuff is money. I keep, I am keeping the rims. I, I think they're solid. They're they're pretty light. These wheels are pretty light. You got me if they're carbon or aluminum. <laughs> they're skinny as hell, and uh, 
they're they're good. I'm, I'm digging the wheels. I don't have a real need at the moment to change anything. I heard a couple like spoke kind of dings, but no rim dings. I don't think I got any impacts. I was running 30 psi front and rear, and uh, <laughs> yeah, Vernie, scissor tutorial. We got scissor ASMR. <laughs> Cobra Kyle's using an old tire for frame protection. Now his bike looks like a battle bot. I like that. <laughs> the wrapping over here. Nice, quick 99. Iron Mountain Enduro. They're get, the Enduros are starting, huh? Okay, how far should I go here? How far should I go? Should I go all the way? Oh, as far as I can in a straight line is what... What I'm gonna do, I can always trim the excess. I am running tubeless. I am running tubeless. And I am running out of this stuff. <laughs> I, give me a good run, for sure. I have never thought about getting a DH bike. I, you know, in Whistler, I was riding the Orbea Rayon last time and it was perfectly fine. I, yeah, it's, it is a different feel. I definitely, I, I rented one at Whistler a couple years ago, and it was definitely an interesting, pretty cool feel, but uh, it wasn't enough to be like, yeah, I need a DH bike. There's no, like, uh, once a year I go to Whistler, and that's about the only time, and I'm not, definitely not big enough to uh, just, that, that's more for you, Steady Spin. Big ass jumps and stuff, you, you're, you're hitting it. You're, cr you're crazy with that stuff, so a little bit more in your ballpark. Okay, I think uh, I'm gonna go sectional here because I wanna get a little bit of the underside. Just a little bit of the undercarriage, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Tony, when you run into Brian on the trail and you have his shirt on, he'll ignore you. Did, I, did that happen? I'm like, no. I really hope not. It's possible, there's, Weird stuff happens. You probably saw my brother. He probably ignored you. <laughs> we will know exactly how much weight this is adding because I weighed the bike. But I weighed the bike when it was wet. It was filled with water. So uh, it cannot be adding that much weight. There's no way. There's no way. It, it, could, it could be adding a, decent, a little bit, but I'm not, not too worried about that. I could just use a little bit less sealant. <laughs> a little bit less sand stands. <laughs> Good day, Glenn. Good to see ya. <laughs> a little bit of taint tape. Nice, Bill. Sports welder checking in. Put the 3M protective film on his Occam one year ago. Still, still looks great. No yellowing. Yeah, that's kind of one of the things as well. And shoot, if this is made for being in the shower, you, you gotta believe that uh, it can take a beating. You know, maybe not for sun exposure, like UV exposure, but it's definitely gonna be able to take a beating for muck and dirt and just odd liquids and solids that might uh, might might happen in the course of a, uh, a shower <laughs> or two. Can I tell you about all the hair that Alex leaves in the shower? Holy crap, are you kidding me? Unreal, unreal. He didn't shave his beard. You guys see that on Instagram? He, he took it down. He trimmed it. He didn't shave it. I'm, I'm hiding my feet on purpose. Don't worry about it. Here we go. Am I actually in the frame here? Do I need to bring this in a little bit? recorded a little podcast today uh, with Paul the Punter, which was pretty fun. I'll have that on my Patreon page soon. I did a video version, but only because some people would listen to uh, listen to it on, on YouTube versus downloading the Patreon app and having, you know, a podcast. So we'll see if, uh, see if you guys enjoy it that way. Talked about MTV YouTube business. It was it's very uh, fascinating to me, obviously. Very inside baseball, though. Very, uh, I think people kind of care, but eh, I'd be surprised if people really, really care. Just make fun videos. <laughs> See you later, Tom. Thanks for being here. 
<laughs> Alex is a hairy dude, hell yeah. But his hair is so majestic. We're all jealous, I think. He's a good looking man. That's all I'm, that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> Daily mountain bike ride in the house. I didn't see it, I missed it. Uh, Shut up and ride MTB might be uh, uh, trolling me. <laughs> Thomas Glazer with the $5 super chat for some Patreon extended cut love and drain cleaner. <laughs> I definitely need to go pick up. I saw it at Costco and I didn't pull the trigger. A couple of Drano. I, uh, it's it's a good part of uh, of uh, of proper maintenance on your uh, your pipes. Just throwing some Drano down there, whether you need it or not. I used to have uh, tons of problems with my uh, like shower overflowing and the toilet overflowing because I these there's these big ass trees. I live in a house that's like seventy years old or so, maybe 90, 80 years old. Yeah, seven. Yeah, whatever. It's old. And uh, there's these giant trees out front that the roots would grow into the pipe. It's like old copper pipe. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite, uh, quite silly. It used to be pretty bad. I remember I was having like, a, like, you know, the third or fourth date with my girlfriend at the time. She was coming over to my house for the first time and I took a shower and the friggin' shower is all overflowing from the, <laughs> the drain. I was like, oh no, this is not good. <laughs> No, you can't. You can't go in there. Don't, don't, don't flush the toilet. It doesn't work. But uh, yeah, we we replaced the old. Uh, what do you call it? A lot of good plumbing talk here. A lot of good plumbing talk. Welcome, Daily Mountain Bike Rider. Celia Weston says, as a handy person, don't dump Drano down an already stuffed pipe. So do you think it's okay to put it down a a, a pipe for maintenance though, or uh? Like when you when you run into that when you have to go dig through it is it a pain in the butt the Drano I, I'd love to know more. We're all about learning here on BKXC. I'll tell you that much. Drano talk, baby. Oh, I definitely have better hair. Come on, you know that, st st Steve Master. My hair right now it's it's dialed. It's so dialed. It's getting a little bit Kramer, but uh, it's. Oh, it, it burns, so Celia, it burns plumbers when you get in there. Ugh, that kind of sucks if you're, uh, if you're getting in there trying to remove like a blockage and then all of a sudden you're like, ugh, gets splashed in your face. Okay, it's good to, uh, good to know, good to know. NorCal Kevin, I have not read any good nutrition books lately. Uh, Grain Brain was a good one, talking about gluten and everything, and, uh, it's been a while since I read that one. Audiobooks are my my uh, my style. But yeah, I, cu I cut out sugar recently because I figured that. Uh, no, no squeegee. Don't really care. <laughs> just putting it on. Just throwing it on. No big deal. Warts and all. If I don't like it, I can take it off. Uh, yeah, I cut out sweets lately because I, I found myself really going pretty uh, hard on soda and sweets and stuff and. Uh, whether you believe it or not, I'm, I, I have a bit of body fat that uh, I could trim if we're, if we're talking about XC racing and the ways to get faster. Fat is, uh, is all about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Rax Riots. It's all about function, baby. There we go. That's not looking too bad, though. little mating spot here that's pretty ugly. <laughs> the guns are looking bigger. They're feeling bigger. I'm able to do a little bit bigger weight at the old CrossFit. So, uh, ooh, this is a little ugly here. It's all right. Don't, we're not going to zoom in on that. <laughs> it's really funny when I meet people on the trail, but when I had the, when I was riding the Rayon, they'd be like, man, this thing's a lot more beat up in person <laughs> when you see it than in the videos. There's no real, uh, up close shots in the videos where you can see how uh, battered and bruised, especially the wheels. My wheels uh, take a lot of hits. I think it has something to do with the person riding the bike. <laughs> this does have a ceramic pro coating on it. And uh, I don't 
don't think it's going to do, it's going to do a decent job with shedding water and dirt and that kind of stuff, but I don't think it's going to protect from big impacts. And I have a lot of bike, uh, big impacts when, when I'm on the bike. Ass is just a wee bit ugly, but not too bad. I could probably even kill this whole section again because this is really what I'm concerned about. But for continuity, we'll do it. We'll do it. We've got some Aussies in the chat. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Bikes are tools, not jewels. <laughs> I dig it. I dig that, Joe. Okay, we got one to go. You guys are not distracting me nearly enough here. This is, uh, this is a little too chill for my, my, uh, <laughs> my take. We've got side conversations going. Oh yeah. The shuttle rack for 40 RX for sure. It's, uh, I, uh, I cringe at a lot of the shuttle racks. I put my bike on like, Oh man, are you serious? And they're like next to each other and just so funky, man. It's, ugh, I hate it. It's, their job is to get, like, move bikes around, but it doesn't always seem like they care. My brand new bike, mate. <laughs> See you later, Triple Squats Gaming. It's good to have you asking a million questions over and over. I did not do the CrossFit Open, Rodrigo. I, I was uh, traveling enough where I, I really didn't have time to get back. I did a couple of... Uh, couple of them and I did pretty well I felt like on the first one because it was all body weight exercises. MTB Yum Yum, yes, SRAM Axis I would. I would actually love to get SRAM Axis on my bike because I'm just so bad at uh, managing the gears on my bike. Friggin make a computer do it and oh, I love it. Just get an app for that, that would be amazing because it would get it right all the time and just oh, wireless dropper posts. Yeah, that's cool too, but the, the wireless shifting, love it. I love the idea so much. Daniel, you're going to find out uh, how the BMC handles everything very soon. First video on Slick Rock tomorrow, and uh, then three days of crazy XC racing from Moab. You will see what the BMC is made of. Fernando Munez, the third. Fernando Munoz, the third. $2 super chat and join the videos. Keep them coming. Thank you, Fernando, for the super chat. I appreciate it very, very, very much. Ashton Silcott, what's my favorite food? That would be the Mocha Loco from Got Plate Lunch, Benicia, California. Yeah, the Barzo tires have been good. I'm, I'm very surprised. I talk about them. I mean, you'll see me riding some sketchy ass conditions in uh, Moab Rocks, and you'll see that uh, the Barzo has held up pretty damn good. Pretty amazing. Yeah, Daniel, can't wait. Awesome. I, I love the enthusiasm. Shut up and ride. MTV with a $10 super chat. Good night, kid. Need to get back to school. Grade them papers, Matt. Cheers. Thanks for stopping in. Always good. Uh... <laughs> Did I just hack BKXC's bike? His SRAM axis? Did I shift his... his uh... <laughs> Did I just... I'm just... Uh, I'm also laughing. The, the fake clickbait titles are always the, the greatest thing to come up with. Uh, <laughs> I've got some lewd ones that I can't share with you, but they, they make me funny. Uh, no front brakes knows what I'm talking about. I guess we could say, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was one? Did I just poop in Aaron Gwynn's toilet? <laughs> just completely ridiculous and stupid. <laughs> MTV Yum Yum, don't hate on the clickbait, baby. That's all I got. You don't clickbait, you deliver. If there's something in your title, it's, it's, it's just uh, the <laughs> sketchiest one is like when you put something in the title that doesn't exist and you're like, what the heck? I have seen that. See you Sid. I'll see you later. <laughs> Steve Master, my arms got so big I had to upgrade my fork, brother. <laughs> That's pretty good. Tim Cat with the $5 super chat. Three hours sleep last night means I can't make it through a BKXC maintenance stream. I'll get to Moab Rocks tomorrow. Can't wait for the BC race. Me too, man. Thank you for the support on Patreon and chiming in with your questions. 
Tim Katz, always good for a couple questions on the, the BKXC Patreon podcast. I do some AMAs and stuff. I appreciate it. Sorry I took so long to get to your super chat. And uh, you, uh, you, yeah, you probably already went to, to bed. Mark is trying to, uh, to get me to turn the lights off in the shed, but you got to say, turn the lights off in the shed, not turn off the shed. You'll get me next time and I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you for the $5 super chat. <laughs> You didn't have enough to do. There wasn't enough banning going on tonight. How did the, uh, how do you guys think the old Streamlabs thing, and it, it just deletes your comment too. It's kind of, it's not like a, uh, it's not like a big thing. Uh, not a big, uh, like a timeout or anything. Brazil bike. Okay, Google, turn the lights off in the shed. Okay, turning the mandatory <laughs> lights off. It's uh, BKXC after dark, everyone. <laughs> See you later, Kayla. Hope you enjoy the Moab videos. Hey, Google, turn the lights on in the shed. Uh-oh. We broke it. Hey, Google, turn the lights on in the shed. <laughs> sure, turning on the nuggetory We're back. Lights. Don't worry about it. <laughs> ben, it made him uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's weird. It's it's like the shortcut is named the shed, but then when she talks, she says nugatorium. I I don't actually uh I don't actually get that. I've I've managed to give myself a hell of an air bubble here. My first one, <laughs> my first real fail. No dropper post. Yeah, man. I uh yeah, sorry to, for activating everyone's uh, Google Home. It's all good. Just because you don't have the device set up. Someone somewhere out there might have a shed, and that would be kind of funny if the lights actually turned off in their shed. <laughs> yeah, there's something with the... I think she might not be able to... She can pronounce Nuggetorium, but there was some reason I said the shed instead of Nuggetorium. I think also because it's like a scene. It's a... Uh, yeah, all the Google Home stuff. I cannot read your Korean name. I'm sorry, but uh, I appreciate having you here in the chat. <laughs> War within MTV. Have fun, my friend. <laughs> whatever, whatever floats your boat. BK uh, most anticipated gear tech product. Ooh, I don't know. Sea Otter Classic. There is there really anything? Like I said earlier, I think Kushcore might announce something new, but hopefully there's some new stuff. I, I kind of feel like we've seen it all and then something new comes out and you're like, oh wow, that's cool. But uh, holy crap, there's a lot of, uh, there's so much more that the bike industry could do. I think the whole rear derailleur thing is so, uh, so played out, right? Like, come on, we got to get better than the, 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 the rear derailleur. <laughs> Trail features with the $2 super chat. No, leave them off. <laughs> Somebody's backing up their, their, their RV next door. <laughs> the re Korean name was romantic. Nice. Celia's a, a handyman and a, uh, a, Korean, well, or maybe Korean Google Translator. This is the screwdriver squeegee here. Working really well. Any port in a storm, the BKXC way. Cut it right! The name Nuggetorium came to be from uh, somebody in one of these live streams. Someone that I still has not come forward. <laughs> I just really... <laughs> Someone named it the Nuggetorium, and it was just the perfect, like, the perfect, amazing little uh, name. Because, you know, the nuggets, me eating chicken nuggets all the time is kind of the, the impetus of the joke. But that, that it's the Nuggetorium is kind of a funny thing. I, there's probably some weird double entendre with weed, and I think nuggets with weed, nugs, or something like that. And I don't smoke weed, but uh, good on you if you do. But, uh, yeah, it's all about the, the chicken nuggets. Thought it was so funny. <laughs> hey, JS from Sweden. I appreciate the uh, 
20 Swedish kroners. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Peter, I'm sorry your, your, uh, your message got deleted asking for everyone to hit the like button. <laughs> No way! You're gonna go see Double Dare with Mark Summers, Chris? Holy crap! <laughs> I love it! Is it like an adult-themed one? Like a nostalgia version where uh, they serve alcohol and stuff? <laughs> okay, so we're pretty much good to go, but the back side is not coated, which is a bit worrisome. It's not great. <laughs> Chris, I have no idea, but it starts at 8, so I assume so. <laughs> Double Dare is on tour, apparently. You guys better Google that stuff. Get on it. Okay, mission accomplished. Man, the bike is dirty. And the little spots that I missed, holy crap. It is ugly. I went to the Crockett Hills. If you guys are local, you'll know uh, that place. And from my videos, and the Crockett Hills was in pretty good shape. Probably the best shape it's been in a long time. Uh, overgrown, so I got one tick, but didn't get in me. And uh, uh, But the trails are actually kind of cool, being a little overgrown. Like, the single track was like super single. And uh, so very, very neat. And uh, the cows have all been relegated to the back, so you're not going to see any cows at the moment, which is great keeping the trails actually nice. The only damage I saw was uh, was uh, mountain biker damage, which is very rare. Everyone knows where you live? Oh no. I need them all. I need them all. All the wheels. They're all backups. I need to get half of them fixed. Just be ready for anything. Yeah, it has a texture on it. It's kind of a weird texture. It's tub tread, so there's a link in the description. <laughs> Ryan, yeah, that'd be kind of that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Kevin Higgins with a ten dollar Canadian. I appreciate that. Thank you, Kevin. Feel free to leave a message if you want it. But if not, what? Who am I to judge? Who am I how to tell you how to, how to spend your hard-earned money? Oh man, Ben, that's the worst when uh, when the, the weeds are so bad on the trail when they actually start grabbing your brakes. Ooh, I think Heartbreak Ridge was like that with the uh, the what you call it the uh, ooh, I can't remember, but the big big stuff that grows on the side of the trails in uh, Pisgah. Nice, Cody's MTV channel. Ooh, Pablo brought a new bike. I've not gone mountain biking on Diablo. I've done a lot of road biking on Diablo, but I have not done the full on. I've heard, Trent, I've heard about the Charlotte Whitewater Center. And uh, I am very interested to check that out, actually. When is it? When is Tuck Fest? I don't have any plans to be in Asheville or uh, Charlotte this this summer, but you never know. Things, things can happen. MTB Thickness. Got a six shred on your local downhill trails. Nice. Nice. Just hit your big... Uh, big whip. Jason's trying to, trying to put me in a corner here. If I could align myself with any one bike shop, who would you and who would it be? You know, my local bike shop is pretty good. Frame Up Bikes in Pleasant Hill. But, uh, you know, online-wise, I think, I think uh, Worldwide Cycler is doing the best job, and I have, like, the best relationship with those guys. And, uh, I think they're pretty much going to take over the world. They're one step at a time, just really doing a good job with uh, everything they do. It's like so dialed. And the content wise, like getting really good content out there. So, uh, yeah, Worldwide Cycle Race, killer. You don't know who Backcountry is, right? Like, Backcountry has a lot of stuff and they have a lot of good deals and they have a lot of good bikes, but you don't, there's no, there's nothing there, right? Like, who, who are they? That's what it's all about, is, uh, Knowing the story. Storytelling is the currency of the world. And uh, people don't understand that, but it's so, so important. Storytelling. That's what I do here. I try to tell stories. This is just like one big long story about me loving mountain biking, quitting my job, coming, you know, traveling the world, and then who knows what else is going to happen in the story. But uh, 
it's all one big, big story. And that just, it, it, it makes, makes it very, very cool. People coming in from out of nowhere anymore is kind of a, a weird thing. Some gnarly stuff in Colorado Springs, huh, Corey? Nice. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's it's janky. It's cheapo. It's janky. But guess what? I think it's strong. I think it's going to take some hits. If I don't like it, I can rip it off and just be done with it. And, uh, and I spent 14 bucks on it. So can we, can we get any better than that? That's... That's the question. <laughs> you need to shop the Redemption franchise. Amazing chemistry. That would be really cool. Get a, a cameraman to film us. Then, it, then it'll all become a fake reality TV show. Oh, what? What? <laughs> uh, I happen to see like one of those uh, commercials for like, what is it? Something with the Chisholms or Chisel? Uh, growing up Chesley, like. Ah, that friggin' fake reality TV stuff. It's, it, it, it has its place. It has its place. <laughs> Are you saying this isn't scripted? Oh no, this whole thing's scripted for sure. <laughs> Every bit of it. I had to memorize 300 page, pages of dialogue to do this live stream tonight. It's a pain in my ass, but you guys are worth it. All the colors in the shed look kind of cool, like the darkness. So it's a little more dark. Focus, focus. All right, we're gonna wrap this thing up. Hour and a half, 90 minutes, spending hanging out with you guys. I, I honestly love it, hanging out with you guys. Thank you for all your awesome comments on yesterday's video. The, uh, it's really, really, <laughs> it has its place in the garbage. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> oh, how much weight did it add? Uh, I don't think we're gonna get a good accurate reading because there was too much uh, water. There was a bunch of water inside the bike frame. I, I probably need to, like, Loosen it up a little and and, and uh, dump it out. Luan, day late, dollar short. That's okay. I'll, I'll end the stream here soon. You can relive it. You can start it from scratch. <laughs> I think I did 30 frames per second this time, so maybe it's a little more smooth as well. I had 24 frames per second before to try to save CPU. I'm sure it probably looks the same as it always looks. Kind of crappy. Kind of worse than a normal uh, normal. Uh, video feed or whatever. Trail Talk MTV with two Australian dollary do, dues. Cheers for redemption. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Trail Talk MTV. I, uh, I'm going to go to your channel and, and see what you're all about. 461 subscribers. Nice. Killing it. Get on it. All right, y'all. Um, sure. Let's do two more minutes. I don't mind hanging out for a couple more minutes and, uh, We've got the Redemption CA shirts. We're going to shut those down tomorrow. And uh, glad, yeah, Rax Ride, thank you for being here. Very cool. Rocking a fade. I'm kind of, it's not quite a fade. It's just kind of short on the sides with every kind of left on top. I think it looks okay. It's a little weird to, uh, to handle, but not too bad. Thankfully, I still got the thick hair for now. The, 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 more forehead every day, but the, the hair is still thick, so. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I saw that comment earlier, uh, Ryan. Nice. <laughs> Party on top, business in the back. Helmet hair. <laughs> this is called the helmet hair. <laughs> Am I really doing CrossFit if I don't have a man bun? You're right. That's why it's getting long. It's almost long enough to just pull it into a nice little <laughs> man bun. Uh, AZ Dirt Life has thick hair on his back. <laughs> all right, you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thanks for uh, keeping us all entertained. Every single one of you that comments and hangs out, it's always appreciated. It's it's really what fires me up. It, I, it's so cool that, I don't know, this, this live streaming thing is totally different than actually doing the videos, and I love it just as much. And uh, it's great to have you have you guys all here. Oh yeah, Alex had a, a couple cool uh, stickers on his his little. I previewed them on uh, on my Instagram today. So, all right. Uh, thanks for watching, you all. I'll see you on the truck.